Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make a DIY shaving cream. With Father's Day coming up, this would be a wonderful homemade, handmade gift that you could make for a dad. So I have another video where I show how to make a shave butter, and that's more of a like a whipped body butter type of a shaving product, which is nice, but sometimes people want a lighter, fluffier product that's more like a traditional shaving cream. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. This is a little bit of a unique shaving cream recipe too, because I'm actually gonna be using something pretty different. 100% grass-fed, grass-finished organic beef tallow. And if you've been on my channel, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of grass-fed tallow. It has so many amazing skin benefits. I'll have a bunch of more videos linked below that you can see to check out all that information. And if you still wanted to make this recipe but you didn't have access to tallow, you could also use something like shea butter. That would give you a very similar consistency. So to start, I'm going to be measuring one quarter cup of tallow into the top of my double boiler. I'm going to be doing the best I can measuring it while it's solid like this. It's easier to melt it first and then measure it, but I'm just going to make this work. Next I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. And then next I'm going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. You could also substitute the olive oil for another skin friendly liquid oil of your choice. And then I'm just going to let that melt on the double boiler until all of the tallow and coconut oil are completely liquid. All right, now that it has completely melted and all of the oils, the tallow, coconut oil, and olive oil are all completely combined, I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour it into a mixing bowl. And then I'm going to take my mixing bowl with that oil tallow mixture and I'm gonna stick it in the freezer and I'm going to leave it in there just until it's like halfway solidified. I don't want it completely hard, just like halfway. So you have to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't get too solid. All right, so now it is pretty solidified. It's still kind of soft, so it's not rock hard, which is just what I want. So I'm gonna start whipping and then partway through, I'm going to stop and add my next ingredient. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking soda and I'm going to add this gradually while I'm whipping the best I can. All right, and then the last ingredient that I wanna add before I'm finished whipping is essential oils. So you have different options depending on who you're making this for. For myself, I usually like to use something like lavender. If I'm making it for my husband, then I like this wood spice synergy from Plant Therapy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 24 drops of lavender and then continue whipping. All right, and then it's ready to go into a storage container. I really like these little glass jars. So there you have your DIY shaving cream. Since there's no water or anything, you can keep it at room temperature and it will stay good that way. Just make sure that you use clean, dry hands when you're taking it out of the container. It's really easy to make and you can skip the toxic chemicals that are found in commercial shaving cream and make your own that works really well. Do be careful if you use this in the shower because it could make this bottom of the shower slippery, so just be careful and keep that in mind. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing how to do that, and hopefully you like seeing my version where I add tallow. Again, if you don't wanna use tallow or don't have access to it, you could use something like shea butter and it'll still work great. I'll have links below to the ingredients and equipment that I use to make this so you can find those easily. I'll also have a link to my blog post where you can get a printable recipe card in case you wanna grab that. Also over on my blog, I have a member exclusive password protected subscriber library where I have all of my free eBooks, checklists and printables and everything all in one spot. I have some other DIY skincare and body care as well as cooking recipe eBooks. So there will be a link below if you wanna get access to that. 
Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think might want to see it. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient-dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.